Are you looking for a project management checklist template in Excel? One that you can leverage for all of your projects going forward. Well, in this video, I am going to be showing you step by step exactly how to create one, along with all of the recommended columns and some of the most important checklist items across different project phases. Now, if you are short of time, I have made a pre-built, pre-formatted template available for instant download. You can get that via the first link in the description down below. Now that checklist template is far more comprehensive than the one I'm about to share with you. Otherwise, this video would go on for far too long, but it has a lot more checklist items and is fully fleshed out. That being said, let me now walk you through how to create this important document. So the first thing I recommend that you do is give the document a heading. So what we're going to do is we're going to click insert and then we're going to click shapes. I'm then going to select this rectangle here. I'm then going to left click and drag out to about L4. Then I'm going to left click and drag this right into the corner and I'm actually going to try and align it with the grid lines. Okay. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to put on a, a color. So I'm going to put on this shape style, but you can use any fill color that is representative of your organization's branding colors or your preferences. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go edit text. And then I'm pretty much just going to call this the name of the document. So we're going to call this project management checklist. And you could put template in here as well if you wanted to. And you can then save it to a local drive or even upload it to your intranet site so you can leverage it across all of your projects going forward. I could actually change the color of the font if I wanted to, but I do quite like that white against the gray backdrop. Then what I'm going to recommend that you do is just create a little content area, content area here for project name and project manager. That way, what you can essentially do is just keep track of this across all the different projects and you can see exactly what this checklist is for. So I'm going to put a gray fill here, a lighter one, and I'm going to select from B6 through to C7. I'm going to put all borders on. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select A through to L and I'm just going to increase the width of these columns to about 20. Now we may need to change this as the video goes on. I'm actually going to make A a little bit more. We'll put that at five and then it just creates this nice uniform look. Now we're going to create the main template itself, which is going to be a table. So the first column I recommend you include is ID. That way for every tasks, task, you can reference that ID. We're then going to have the checklist item. We are then going to have the category, or in other words, the project phase. We are then going to have assigned to. Now you may or may not want to have this column. If you're the project manager and you're undertaking all of these tasks, then you may not need it, but we're going to put it in for now because you may want to assign some of these to different team members. We're going to have a due date. We're going to have a status and we're also going to have a comments. Now the comments column, we're going to make a little bit wider because it kind of simply makes sense to do that. And then what I'm going to do is select I through to L. We don't actually need those. So I'm going to delete that off. So it creates this uniform look. What I'm going to then do is I'm going to left click in B6 and go through to C6. I'm going to indent by one, just brings them more central. And then I'm going to click in B6, format painter, left click and then drag across. And you'll notice that just creates that same um, formatting across all of these that we've already created. We will be adding, adding some borders in time, but I'm just going to show you exactly how we can get some of the most important checklist items in just to show you how this can work. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do zero, something like this. And then this will obviously go down accordingly. And we'll populate this as we go along. Let's just do it down to 10 for now. Now, I'm, as I say, going to be sharing with you some of the most important items that you're going to want to cover for each and every project. But the pre-built template available in the link in the description below, as I say, is far more comprehensive. Otherwise, you'd just be watching me typing out all of these. So have you defined the project objectives? That's obviously a very, very important initial checklist item. Have you identified and engaged key stakeholders? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a couple 
for each phase. And then I'll show you how we can finish off the template. So the next one would be, have you created, so this is gonna be, actually no, let's do all these first and then I'll walk you through the rest. So have you created a detailed project schedule and timeline? Then we're gonna have, I'm actually gonna pause the video. I'm gonna fill all these out and then we can walk back through it. As you can see, what I've done is I've just populated all of the checklist items and expanded the ID down. So I went to the bottom of the top one and I left click all the way down. Now let's just have a quick look at some of these. So define the project objectives, identified and engaged key stakeholders, developed and approved the project charter. Have you created a detailed project schedule and temp, temp timeline, risk management plan, a budget and allocated resources. So you get the idea. What I've essentially done is created three tasks for each category or project phase. So the next thing we need to do is just put that in. Now we could create a drop down if we wanted to here. Uh, I'll show you how to do that in a second, but for the purpose of this video, I'll just show you the different phases. So it would just be like this. So we're going through each and every phase execution, then we're gonna have monitoring, and then the last one will be closure or project closure. So we've got all five key phases of the project here. So what you could do is you could start adding new tasks and checklist items for each phase. Now, if you wanted to have this as a, as a drop down, you would select all of this con content area, you'd go data, you'd go um, data validation, data validation, list, and then you'd be putting these in. So initiation, planning, execution, moni monitoring, and closure. And then if I press OK, then they're all drop. These are all drop downs now. So that can be really, really useful. Obviously, you need to expand that to the content area if you did want to do that. We're going to leave assigned to for now. As we are due date, what we can do here is right click, format cells, and just change that to the date formatting. That's useful to do. Now. What I'm going to do is put all borders on. So from B10 through to H25 and home, and I'm going to put all borders on. And the reason why I'm doing that next is because we're going to do status. And this is where we make it a checklist. So this makes life so much easier for us. So to, to, in order to do this, we need to have the developer available on the ribbon at the top. Now, you may or may not have that. So I'll show you how to get that first. Right click up here, any, um, right click on the ribbon anywhere and look for customize this ribbon or customize the ribbon. Then on the left hand side, you're going to want to look for developer. I've already done it, so it's on my right hand side. Basically, when you find it, if it is in this, if it's not appearing here and it is here, then you find it and then you select it basically and you press add. As I say, I've already done that, which is why it's already been added. OK, then you press OK once done. That will enable the developer ribbon to be at the top. All you then do is click developer, insert, and you're looking for this here, checkbox or form control. At which point, what you want to essentially do is draw it in here, preferably in the middle. So I'm gonna bring that into the middle like that. I'm then gonna right click and put edit text and then hit delete on my keyboard to remove all of this text because we just want the checkbox. So there we have this. Now we want this checkbox to appear in every single row. So to do that, I'm gonna hover over the bottom right of the cell, left click and drag all the way down. And now we have this lovely checkbox, which we can use every once you've kind of done each and every checklist item. Now comments, self-explanatory. If you wanted to add any additional comments, you could put that in here. To finish this all off, hit view, remove the grid lines, and you have a lovely PM checklist that you can leverage for all of your projects going forward. So I hope this video is useful. If you have any questions, comments, feedback about the project management checklist, drop them down below. As I say, if you want something more comprehensive, pre-formatted, pre-done, there's a link in the description down below. And with that said, over to you, best of luck, and I hope you have an excellent day.